Sandra, we'll keep asking about that case too as Landrum's family stays by his side. He had surgery today. They asked for that driver to turn themselves in. Tanya. All right, thank you, Evan. Mm. Well, Cincinnati officials opened a new phase of the Wasson Way Trail just two weeks ago, but there is already an unusual controversy that's brewing. That's right. Investigative reporter Paula Christian explains why stray golf balls could cost taxpayers $300,000. Did have a little fear when I read that because I thought golf ball could do some damage. This sign on the Wasson Way Trail in Hyde Park caught the attention of David Campbell right away. So did the golf balls. There are a bunch of kids who obviously knew that there were errant golf balls up on the banks and they were scrambling around trying to find them. And there were plenty to be found. This new portion of the trail is just feet away from the driving range of the Hyde Park Country Club. During construction, crews say golf balls often hit the trees around them. This photo shows what happened when a golf ball smashed the window of a construction vehicle in June. That was an eye opener for the city. City solicitor Andrew Gar sent the country club this letter in August, warning them of liability. The Hyde Park Golf Club leadership will have to come to grips with the fact that they may have some real liability uh, to the users of the trail if something were to go wrong. The city wants the country club to install a higher net to catch stray balls. So far, the city says the country club has not agreed to pay for the netting, which costs $200,000 to $300,000. But Garsh says the club has agreed to temporary changes, moving the direction of its driving range and only allowing members to use iron clubs instead of drivers so balls don't travel as far. But that's not enough for the city. Right now, we're at something of an impasse. Garsh says taxpayer funds will not be used to pay for improvements to a private country club. He isn't ruling out filing a civil nuisance action against the country club as a last resort. In the meantime, the city installed signs to warn the public of danger that he says is unlikely but possible. Mary Tracy of Hyde Park will still take her daily walks with caution. Unless someone gets hurt, but hopefully keep our fingers crossed it won't. I'm here outside City Hall where the solicitor said the city had to put up those signs to warn the public. This tiny golf ball can actually do a lot of damage when it's traveling over 100 miles an hour, from a concussion to cerebral bleeding to, in very rare cases, death. Paula Christian, WCPO9, I-Team. We want you to know we did reach out to Hyde Park Country Club and its lawyer. They declined to comment.